going on? I'm Jacob Lombard. This is a day of my life. Salmon filet, one egg, healthy fats, and some fruit in the morning. I don't go too crazy on the season. People might think that's crazy when salmon in the morning. Who taught you how to cook? I kind of taught myself. I mean, me and my brother used to mess around uh, cooking whatever, and now it's kind of gotten to more healthy cooking and cooking for puts good stuff in our body. So now we just kind of make sure it's edible. We don't really care how it tastes. Um, we got a pretty busy day. We're gonna go do mobility and soft tissue right now. Um, before the lift, it might get screwed up because of rain, so we'll see where that takes us. But we're gonna go do that, hop in the cold plunge, start the lift, um, then we'll go to the market for a little bit, um, do some agility stuff, ground balls, defense, and end with hitting, and maybe some soccer stuff. We'll see. We have seen uh, when we first moved in, I've seen a coyote come across in the morning. Is that you? Is that your cat? I hate cats. <laughs> What's really cool for them is they grew up around the game. So my years with, with the Red Sox, you'll see some pictures in the weight room. But growing up, uh, being the bat boy and like five years old, running around, you know, getting hit in the head with baseballs on accident. And, and then going to LA was really cool timing because they're at the age where they remember everything. Uh, and then to be part of so those, those World Series appearances and finally a World Series championship was really cool. And, People don't realize that that's the, uh, them just being around big league guys, they pick up so much, like they absorb it. I mean, they might absorb and learn more from watching big leaguers do it right every day than even hearing my voice or my wife's voice. Four eggs in there, got some ham, raw cheese, um, and then I'll have some yogurt and some berries. Sometimes at the field we have some different stuff, so uh, I'll change it up, but when I'm home, pretty similar, yeah. Uh, tell me when I get to three minutes. No, 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 usually we do the head dunk after, but my dad no, said no, it's no. way easier. It's way easier I do it both. Do it I've it's never just done go all the way yeah. in, go all the way yeah. in as soon as you get in there. I've never done the head dunk before. I usually, I, the last couple times I've done it before, it's good. So what's the most important part? You got the one? Just gotta get your mind off, get your mind off the cold. It's a little short today. Ah, 
Maka, that's what we do. take some ground balls and do some change of direction and agility stuff. Should be fun. It's your favorite part of the day? Probably, yeah. Defense. Defense or lift is probably my favorite part. And then hitting, depending on how I hit, comes third. You'll see this is a new field, so it's turf. They just put it in, it's been nice. There's construction everywhere. As close as you can. They're housing a bunch of stuff right here right now. But this is all be, be eliminated in the next few weeks. And this will all be new fields in here as well. Have you used it yet? George, can play can catch your, and stuff. George, we bring those smart balls? Yeah. I'm ready to do activation. Yeah. Just trying to going, not going through the motions, but staying relaxed. Just trying to get that feeling back. Well, we've been playing soccer, so starting to get back into baseball. Just making sure the arm feels good um, and all the actions are clean. Tough <laughs> rain, messing everything up, but we got it done. Oh, bad there. You didn't do the flip. I wanted to see you do the flip. This is the only reason we don't have cages in our house yet, because <laughs> this is so convenient. Alright, grab what you need. Otherwise the boys are grabbing a spring from the cage. Take some time. Just swing a little bit. Um, we're also still trying to get starting to get into shape hitting wise. Uh with soccer. But we're getting there. We'll see how it goes today.
velocity stuff, rotational stuff in the weight room to get them ready for baseball season. So that's why we do more rotational stuff now. During baseball season, it was just mainly kind of maintenance stuff. But right now, it's just kind of prepping the body and not doing too much because there's a soccer game on Tuesday. But from there on, it's pretty much high velocity, rotational stuff in the weight room, maintenance stuff, and then game day is Tuesday. So got to get ready for that. Yo, play loose on Tuesday. For sure. Thank you. See you on Tuesday? Yes, yes. Where's the game at, Jacob? It's at Gallagher. You're, you're hosting? You're yeah. probably hosting every round, right? Since you guys are ranked so Well, high. after, I think regional final and after is neutral. Well, do me a favor, bro. That that uh, that team ended your, your brother's junior season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the payback's in store. Uh, hey, you got to hold the receipts, bro. Remember, I didn't have a chip on my shoulder. I had a rock. <laughs> Fun baseball or soccer? Kind of, I love soccer. Like, it kind of just depends. Like, and like, at the end of the summer, I'm just dying to get into soccer, and then at the end of the soccer season, I'm dying to get into baseball. So it's, it's weird. It kind of depends. Tuesday, regional quarter game for Gulliver soccer team. Um, we should come out on top. It's not. I mean, it's a good matchup, but. Kind of rivals. They beat us two years ago, but we should be good this year. What's your uh, your ranking this year as a soccer team? Number one, number one in the country. We've kind of been flipping from in the top five, three, two. We tied a game, so that pushed us back, but we're back at one. So. Who got you into soccer? Soccer was actually my first sport. So uh, it was my mo my mom played soccer in high school, and college, and my brothers always played soccer too. Um, so I started playing soccer when I was young, and baseball didn't come till way later, so when I was like 10 or 11. So I've only been playing baseball for you know, five years, and soccer has been my whole life pretty much. Tell me the uh, progression of sports as you've gotten older. Like, what, what are the sports that you played? Oh, I might mess this up, but I think it was soccer, gymnastics, um, some sports I didn't play officially, but like, like just like a kind of uh, like little league team. Uh, basketball I played a little bit in my school, um, and then seriously football for three years, and then ever since then it's been soccer, baseball, soccer throughout the whole the whole all those years was soccer, and then I would mix in other sports. Yeah. I'm 100. percent I think soccer has helped me tremendously in baseball. Just not only the aspect of obviously using your lower body and being athletic, but just things that don't people go, that, that go unnoticed, like field awareness, knowing where you're on the field, um, and just getting some time, mentally also, just getting some time off of baseball, where a lot of kids think that like you need to be baseball all, all the time, that's all you need to think about, but I think it's really helped me getting that couple month, couple month break before the high school season. Um, just come back stronger and better mentally. I just, I'm here to support whatever it is he decides to do. And all I want to see him do is be happy. And if that means being successful in whatever it is he's doing, whether it's playing sports or not playing sports, and, uh, and just to be, to be happy, whatever that, that is for him, if it's being successful as a baseball player, as a soccer player, or in business, in, with family, with whatever it is he decides to do. And I'm just here for the ride. And whatever he needs, I'm here to help him, to pick him up if I need to pick him up, to support him when I need to support him, or for whatever it is he might need. And love him to death, he's my baby. As much as he's already 6'2 and still growing, he knows he will always be my baby. Jay goes actually like, when I first moved, when like went to Culver in like sixth grade, he was like the first kid that like came up to me because we we're on the football team and he like showed me around and like ever since then we were just friends.
I think everybody saw or will see. I don't know how the, the video will be, but um, um, but but yeah, I think I, I still got him there. I don't think he's ever gonna pass me there. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I mean, since we since I can remember, really, we've we've done stuff together, and uh, obviously, I try to push him, try to be a good role model, and then he pushes me. He's always coming after me, and I feel that's that's how it's always gonna be. That's just the, the the dynamic as brothers. Um, but yeah, it's great to have someone to work out with always to have a good, a good, a very talented, obviously workout partner. Um, so we're, yeah, we, we just always push each other and, and it's, it, it'll always be something that, that I'll be grateful for. And I, I don't want to predict his future for him, but obviously he's got a great chance, uh, to, to get drafted possibly even higher than I did, but we'll see about that. Um, and yeah, if he goes that route. Hopefully we can even play together here in a couple of years if he, um, if we both kind of developed as, develop as, as I know, we're we're expecting ourselves to. Hopefully we can, we can meet up here soon, uh, on the field, which would be just a dream come true.